let's let's get into the last uh big topic. Um, and this is the, the main reason why I reached out to Coach Dean. I wanted you to come on uh this show uh because of the 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 Naomi Osaka situation. If you guys don't know, I mean you shouldn't know by now. She withdrew from the from the French Open, um, citing you know just she she needed she needed a break mentally, um, after being fined fifteen thousand dollars for not speaking to the press after one of her matches. Um, again, Coach D, I like now us being in the media, we understand because we've said it ourselves. Some of these reporters ask the dumbest, unnecessary questions. And you and you just like I don't even know how are you on television? How are you on? Have have you been in, in newspapers so long with the ignorant questions that you ask? So we do understand that it can take that mental toll on on the, on the athlete. And then on the other side of that, we also understand that it is it's the media that drives the money that comes into these sports. So we have to have these press conferences after the game and after the fight and, and different things like that to continue to push the sports world. So how, I guess, do can we come to some kind of intermediate? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, I think it, it's, it doesn't have to be so arbitrary. They're not on opposite sides. Um, the one thing that still needs to be reminded in the situation is the human. Um, what she said, because a lot of media isn't saying this, she said, I'm a very introverted person. And so talking to the media is always hard for me. Can you explain? If you remember. What's an introvert? And the difference so, yeah, so an introvert is someone who is socially shy. Um, they're very much to themselves. Having a conversation or being around a lot of people um, can bring on anxiety, nervousness, panic, uh, all, all these type of um just unsettling feelings, uh, like sort of something similar to a player just before the game, right? They may experience their palms sweaty or they may be jittery. Um, so someone who's introverted, they experience those, those things while being around a lot of people. So I would imagine someone that is introverted having to be on a stage in front of lights, in front of 10 people doing what you just said, asking a lot of dumbass questions can be very frightening for her. And so um, if you remember, she just beat Serena Williams and there were a lot of lights in her face um, when she chose to, before then, when she chose to speak out and put uh, the names of those that have transitioned on her face mask, she was in a lot of lights. And so over time you have through the pandemic, which I'm sure she experienced too, we all experienced it, then having to come right back out literally at the tail end of a global pandemic, you're already playing and back in the spotlight. Um, you know, I could imagine, yeah, needing an entire break <laughs> um, because now there is the knowing and the belief that, hey, I get to advocate for myself. Um, and I think what she did was not only courageous, but very necessary in the fight that I continue to fight in terms of destigmatizing and, and decriminalizing mental health and, and making us more aware of the the need and the necessity for us to maintain our wellness with our minds. Um, and that's something that only we can understand. Like it's not a pill, it's not a, oh, I just have a headache. It's so much more complex and layered um, than people wanna give it credit for. So kudos to her, um, she's elevating the game by example. So, all right, so now next, my next question would be, I mean, obviously, you know, because we're going to have people that would say that because the, the whole, I guess, mental toughness. Right. So you're going to have people that want to talk about her level of mental toughness. I'd say you're actually more mentally tough because you're able to step away from a tournament that you have a really good chance of winning. But there's, then you have others that will say, well, she's not mentally tough enough because she couldn't stick it out. And, and finish the French Open. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. So see this pin right here, mental toughness is not mental health. Um, too often in sports, so MT is a psychological uh, uh, definition, if you will, it defines personality. So within confidence, within com competency, within capacity, these are all things um, that our personalities would exude or express in a particular moment or time. That is where mental toughness applies and is appropriate 
to speak about. But when we talk about the mind, mood, emotion, that is what mental health encompasses. It, it, it is a evaluation of our well-being, our mental, emotional states, right? Like what is the state that we're in emotionally? Now, me going out and like having the dexterity or the mental capabilities or even physical capabilities to do a tournament is nothing. But the emotional, right? It's like we want, we, we as a society, we want it both ways. We want players to be passionate and really love it and do it for the game. But then when they are doing it for the, themselves and, and not the money and not the achievements and not the titles, and then when they say they need a break, now we're looking at them like we're, they're, they're crazy. And so like Kobe Bryant was a perfect example of that. Um, he understood time very differently and he was very outspoken about being aware of your mental health and that being self-awareness. And so again, back to that idolization piece, right? We idolize athletes because they do what we can't do. So then we put them on a pedestal and based on that judgment, now we can see that they can't concede. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah. it's crazy, you know? Um, so again, it's like, she's elevating the game like so many others, you know? And, and those that started, like last time we spoke, we talked about Kevin Love, but Kevin Love started a trend. You know, when you look at the undefeated and Bleacher Report and the things that they're coming out with now, it, it's really speaking to the, to the humane side of an athlete. So we so we, we we are seeing improvement in people taking their mental health uh, more serious, and it, and, it, and as a whole, I think we'll we'll, we'll continue to to get it. Um, Coach D, I just want to thank you so much for making the time to um to to chat with us with us and, and talk mental health. We we we're gonna definitely have to start having you on more often because it's something that is truly needed, and we love and appreciate everything. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real, Real Talk. Fans. Uh-huh. This is real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. We as real as you thought.